Hi there, I'm Jen Uran with More Mommy Moments, and today I am going to show you how to create a menu inside of Plan to Eat. Now, if you don't yet have Plan to Eat, there is a link below that will give you a 45 day free trial. Um, and as always, there is no need to enter any credit card information, but that gives you almost six weeks to discover just how powerful and wonderful this tool is when it comes to um, working with our meal planning. So why might you want to create a menu? Well, there's a couple of scenarios that I can think of. You might um, want to create a menu for a full week's worth of, of food and have three or four of these that you rotate through so that you can just drag them over and spend even less time planning out your meals than you do now. Another reason might be because of a specific event. So maybe you have um, a specific thing that you like to do whenever you host a brunch or Thanksgiving dinner. By creating a menu, we're pulling together all the recipes and ingredients and notes that you need so that you don't have to recreate that and find that each and every time you go to plan that event. So we're going to create a brunch menu together. So if you go to your planning tab and you open up your meals, you'll see here this button that says menu. So we'll click on that and we'll come over here. Now, if your friends have menus, you can pull in from them. These are the people who have different menus you can, you can get from as well as occasionally within Plan to Eat, they will have challenges and you can pull menus over from there as well. So you can share your menus, but we're gonna create a new menu. So here is our new menu and we are gonna call this, this is just gonna have everything we need for brunch. So we're gonna rename it to brunch. Now, this is going to confuse you a little bit. Notice it says day one, day two, day three, not the first of the month, the second of the month, the third of the month. This is for creating a menu um, with how many days you want in it. So if you create a one day menu, you can drop and drag it to any day. If you create a two day menu, you have to have at least two days for it to drag on to and so forth. So think that through as you are, are planning your menu. And remember that the first day of the week is um, is Sunday in this. So if you create a three day menu, it would be Thursday, Friday, Saturday, because it won't roll over to the next week. Um, at least that's been my experience. So we'll play with that a little bit more. So we're gonna come here and we're gonna create our brunch. So we're gonna come over here and uh, for brunch, I like to have, um, I like to have uh, coffee cake, I like to have some fresh fruit available. <clears throat> and I have an egg casserole that I like to make. Um, that uh, um, does not have a picture with it yet, but I'm gonna put that up here. And then in addition to these things that I will serve, I want to make sure that we have orange juice. So I'm gonna add this ingredient and I want to make sure that um, we have the option for mimosas if somebody wants those. So we'll add some champagne. And then I wanna make sure that I add this prep note that says um, prepare egg dish the night before. So now I have a note there as well. And so I have seven items that are part of this brunch. It's a one day recipe and that's all I need to do. It is saved. So now if uh, I find out that, you know, we've got friends coming to town and we want to have a brunch, I can just drag it over here. And I've just added all seven of those items to that Saturday morning so that I don't have to think about it. It is that easy. So you can see that um, the menu option can be a great way to really simplify some things that you've done. So we're gonna look at um, friends menus over here. So here, here is um, No Longer Chunky is, uh, he's got some menus here. So this is seven quick and easy breakfasts that he's pulled together. And this one 
is um, seven days worth of breakfast, lunch, and dinner that he has planned out. So you can see where um, this could be a really easy thing if I said, okay, I am just going to pull this over here. I'm going to add them all. And boom, right there, I have planned out a week's worth of meals with almost no effort at all. So menus can be menus can be a very, very powerful tool. And then once you've pulled it over, you can still go in and edit these things and change them around. So that, that does give you a little bit of, of um, flexibility as well with those. So they're a great template. And... Uh, I hope that you find menus to uh, be very helpful as you go along.